Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem. As Wrath goes, and we finally hit the switch. And I'm gonna eat this taste cake. Frozen tasty cakes are amazing. Wood tool. No magic mongrel. No one talks about my Linden burger like that. Oh, fucking God. I love these things. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't bring anything else to eat. No, there's a lot of dialogue. No. I should get hear what music was going on right now. I don't have my headphones on me, so... If I just play the music, it's gonna have back noise. It's gonna sound stupid, so... I can't really have the music up too loud at all. Proud of your thoughts. Oh, by the way, my cold's gone, so now I'm happy again. Commentary's not gonna be that great, though. Why? Because it never is. You've learned to guess that by now. There's not much to talk about when you're post commentating fire. Ooh. I'm such a watching. Yeah. Regular show in the background. A dumb show. Thank you, Sain. It's because of you that I... I will persevere. I'll never break my spirit. She's pretty much broken my spirit at this point. I've become so rusty with an axe, I probably can't even use it anymore. What a bitch. Just let me fight. Okay, so now Rath's joining us too. No shit. This is gold. It's too much. I can't accept it. No, accept it, you bitch. How much money are you giving me? Ooh. I don't know why, but I feel like making a... Making a quote from ABGN. I wonder what the exchange rate is for the expensive hordes. Lutter means cheap-ass hoe. So we already got 50 cheap ass hoes, so we're already doing pretty alright for ourselves. Oh. Deadly Towers. Siblings Abroad. The chapter where we meet the most pointless character in the entire game. I swear, he, he's worse than Florina. There he is. Up no good. Now get out and get out. Don't play on decent folk. What a mess. Ham. Why does she always have to ask where she is? For a Sicilian girl, she has no sense of direction. Ten days. Ah, uh, the exchange rate for ten days is, uh, Three more chapters. Oh wait, we're on seven. Oh wait, no, no, no. Alright, so seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Yeah. 
So, four more chapters before we finally reach where we're destined to get to. Plus, I hope nothing stops us, though. I hope nothing gets in our way. But later? But this, I cannot stand by and let a child be taken. Kiss our souls goodbye. What a stupid TV show. Move then to us. We're pretty tough. Sure we are. Oh, but what's that guy? Hey, he looks just like the mercenary from last chapter. Who do you think you are? I don't get how you can block dark magic with a sword. You regret these wounds. You didn't even wound him. Anyway, this is the first instance I think where you can go to this subscreen. Basically, it allows you to pick your characters. Well, nothing special there. I took out Matthew because, um, well, Florina because I don't use her. And also, here's the angelic robe. I just gave the armor slayer to Kent. As for Lin, oh yeah, I think I did a little trading with Florian stick, as I call it. But let's see. You'll see what I mean in a sec. I finally decided to give Lin the uh, angelic robe, which gives her 26 health. Now she's the tank of the party. Only behind Dorcas and I think Wrath. No, I think she's actually ahead of Wrath. Which is pretty good. You see, that just gives her a bump of HP and makes her a tanking character. Also, this allows you to formate where you want to put your units. You can't move your Lord. That's not allowed. Uh, I don't know why, really. You, you just can't. Everyone else, though, is fine. Green, like, green faded units. What that basically means is the unit is forced upon you on the chapter and its space is also forced. But we're getting a new character here. Good look. Yep. Have to be careful, it's talking about shaman. And of course, they give us something to combat shamans. A monk or whatever the hell it's called. I Damn, what's he called again? That guy was shoving him out of the house, and then this guy who it takes you for frickin' ever to find out is a boy, actually, not a girl. Don't be fooled. That's actually pretty funny, because there is a support conversation between him and uh, Sarah, where it takes her the whole support to find out that he's a boy. That's pretty funny. Whoa. Yeah. So as you look, yeah, it's a monk. Uh, he has more HP than Urk. I mean, more strength, but a lot less power. But which makes no sense, obviously. Basically, Urk is going to be the bigger powerhouse because light magic is kinda on the weak side comparatively. Uh, actually, since there's all three of them on the field, I guess I could explain that now. Basically. Light magic is the equivalent of swords, fire magic is the equivalent of lances, and dark magic is the equivalent of axes. Because light beats ax light beats darkness, darkness beats fire, and fire beats light. And this is what Nils does. He basically whistles his flute from Super Mario Bros. 3, and now all of a sudden Lucius can move again. Now you might be saying, wow, that's actually pretty good. But, and look at his stats. He can't fight, of course. But, you know, his speed's good. He's got decent defense. His HP is a little lacking. He could be a good character. Guess what? He sucks. You lose him at chapter 10, and he never comes back until chapter 29. Which is, I'm not kidding a chapter before the very final chapter, I think, actually, to tell you the truth. Oh wait, no, no, you can actually get him. Okay, so basically that means, in the game, 
if he gets this chapter, the next chapter, playing a normal game, he gets about seven chapters. Seven. Out of all the chapters. That's just bullcrap. I wish I could read that. How many uses does Flux have? Does it actually have 45? Let me see. The crab has 45! I never knew that. Oh, by the way, that's Haints. He is the guy who's tracking them kitties. Nils and his sister. And I'm gonna have to end in like 20 seconds. So, let's speed this up. Let's get one more attack at with Will. Still can't double hit, because he's slow. Yep. Next time, we're going to go get more of this chapter done.